Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Kill Dyken. I just wanted to make this quick video. So, my orange pies finally arrived today. These are the orange pie fives. I got two of these uh, right now, brand new. Need to get these shipped out to some other devs uh, to help speed up the process to test what's going to go on, see if we can get RetroPie working. But primarily, uh, the goal for this is to get this working with other emulators, other systems that are out there. Uh, one of the things that I've been interested in is uh, TechnoParrot and several others. I didn't make this, you know, 200 almost $300 investment to sit up here and run NES games and all the other basic stuff that's out there. So Sega Saturn, uh, those are our goals. Uh, definitely want to give a huge thank to some of the other community members, those of you guys who are supporting me on Patreon. And then, of course, those of you guys who uh, watch uh, my videos. But as you guys know, about three years ago, uh, we first ported over the Pi 4, Retro Pi to the Pi 4. And so I uh, just wanted to make this video, show you guys some of the process. So I got these finally today. Uh, it took about three weeks to get here. Probably should have ordered a couple of more uh, to help maybe speed up the process with some other devs I know I, I need to reach out to. But aside from that, I can confirm that we do have a uh, working build uh, out there in the mix. Um, everything needs to be tested. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be released for many moons because, you know, we like to test everything. Uh, there are some checks and balances that we need to do because everything is just not a quick copy and paste uh, scenario. So um, I will have some additional tests on this. This is a pretty cool board, but again, my goal is techno paired. I want to see how Sega Saturn really runs because the Pi 4 really lacks a lot of GPU uh, speed and process. And so with this, it uh, looks like the GPU is really adequate um, as far as what it can process. But again, this isn't for your Sega Genesis and all that other stuff. I want to see what additional systems it can run uh, in a front-end format, you know, like a coin-op, hyperspin, um, what else we got out there? Uh, Techno Parrot is what I'm really interested in to see how that really handles. And I can't find any minimal system specs for techno pair to kind of get an idea about you know what it could run but um it won't be an easy process um if you guys are familiar with bringing over a lot of front ends there isn't a lot of development right now with the orange pie so guys please hold on um this is again my personal tinker project uh even though you know we do make our best efforts to put something out there for the community there's not a lot of support for this uh there is with raspberry pi so i mean who knows if RetroPie even boots or what front end we decide to use. Uh, there could be hiccups. Like, for example, the video loading screens may not work. Uh, there be, you know, could be scripts that are broken. Um, it's not, you know, a lot of people, what happens is they see these boards and they say, oh, yeah, this is a Raspberry Pi competitor. And that is far from the truth. Because if a board doesn't have the support, if it can't be optimized to work, the hardware specs mean absolutely nothing. And you guys have seen that when uh, the Pi 4 came out, the 8 gigabyte, people automatically thought, oh, yeah, RetroPie would work with that. And then people got disappointed and found out it didn't boot. It happens. You know, it definitely happens. But um, again, you know, the Raspberry Pi Foundation, Raspberry, RetroPie, whatnot, has a lot of support. And so it is not a copy and paste scenario to get something up and running. There's a lot of checks and balances that need to be done uh, to see if it can work. And you have to compile everything, you know, manually. So uh, even though there are a lot of community members, you know, now the, there's been a lot of noise, a lot of push and support for this. There, It's still far beyond or far behind what the Raspberry Pi Foundation has put out because there's millions of apps out there. There's many, uh, millions of users, much more support than like the Rock Pi and the Banana Pi. And so I was uh, interested in this because, you know, looking at the specs, the the cost of it, um, I still need to pick up some, you know, Wi-Fi dongles, but just wanted to give you guys a quick update that finally, uh, you know, these are here. I'm so glad uh, that I got it now because Amazon said I wouldn't get these until beginning of February or closer to the end of March. And that would have been problematic for me because I still need to get uh, some of these out in the mail or whatnot. And I did not want to wait. But lo and behold, they did arrive today. I will do some testing um, with this. I want to give you guys my perception as far as emulation 
Uh, if it's not running well, we'll really see. But if you know, we do have something in the works. Uh, but again, you can't really fully test anything unless you have the board. And so uh, we got to check all the values, you know, checks and balances. And then, of course, uh, once that gives us the OK, I'm thinking maybe you guys will start seeing. Well, I'm not going to say anything public, but maybe some reviews on this probably in the next month and a half. I want to say maybe around March 14th, where we possibly have something, you know, really stable. And I'm talking about. Uh, everything has been, you know, fully checked. We have a better idea about uh, what it is we're dealing with. And then, of course, uh, well, well, you guys will get these updates. You know, I, I post this on my Patreon and then also uh, some of my Facebook groups. But, you know, I like making videos like this because that way you guys are coming along in the journey for me. I'm not going to wait six months or two, two or three months down the line until everything is perfected because I'd like you guys to see uh, the process, you know, this is a tinker hobby, like the, you know, the pros and cons, the positives, the negatives, and, uh, take you guys along with the ride. So you guys can fully enjoy the journey. And then of course you guys get a better understanding about how I like to, uh, proceed with things. So with that being said, like, and subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will catch you guys later. Peace out. Bye-bye.